Manchester, welcome to Your Manchester Lunchtime Live. Everyone, and you, my name's Nick. Like the scandal, how are you, flowers? It is the 4th of November, everybody. Yes, indeed, not long now for this manic panicness to kick off, everybody. Two guests today for you we've got the wonderful Ian Scott and one and only Paul Wilkins speaking to you in just a second. Our first guest is Mr. Ian Scott, he's a stalwart of Manchester's Canal Street and indeed runs Canal Street online. Um, he's doing wonders still. He's not letting his lot down. Pin us down, everybody, as he explains to us now. Good afternoon, Ian. Uh, uh, first of all, I suppose what I want to ask is, how has this affected your business? Well, it's completely devastated it, of course. And um, uh, the unfortunate thing for, for me and my business is, is that they are kind of biased towards hospitality, um, whether it's hotels, bars, restaurants, and it's well known the difficulties that they have all had to endure and are about to endure again. Um, and you could argue that having been through it once already, there, there's a, an element of better preparation, but the fact of the matter is you can't cover many of the costs that are fixed. Um, it's just a very challenging and unhappy time for everybody. Canal Street Online is, is the main and, and most established in my business. Um, and as I say, it's very has been very biased towards hospitality. So effectively, it's been devastated by um, everything that's happened since March. Um, Unlock Manchester, which is high-end print, um, principally with hotels, is completely frozen. Um, and so I've had to kind of look at other alternatives and um, modify um, some of the ways that I do business and also increase the number of people, sometimes in different areas, that I do business with. Even throughout this, though, you're keeping going. You've, you've got a brand new project that you've just launched. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, um, the, the, the Canal Street card, as many will know, has been around for about six years, something like that, and currently has just under a 1,000 card holders. Um, very established for people that hold the card, um, where there's a small annual fee, they can save frequently lots of money i mean some people save two to three hundred pounds a year um by having a card so what we decided to do was to look at probably the, the burgeoning area of the city which is Ancoats, with its tremendous history um strong italian connections and um we just decided to replicate uh the format so on Sunday, uh, myself and Dean and Gary Thomas Loud, um, who we've been collaborating together, actually launched the Ancoats card. Um, and in 48 hours, it's, uh, it appears to be very popular so far. Sounds fantastic. Well, people don't need to be from Ancoats to get the benefits of this Ancoats card, do not they? Not at all, not at all. They just actually have to live, work and play in the area. Um, one of the things that I think we all know is that it's it's been a tremendous area of growth and uh, uh dean and gary who i mentioned specifically were one of the first early adopters when they moved out there several years ago there was pretty much no new build or very little um, and they've just kind of watched the whole area build up around them and uh it's been a combination of new developments but also the refurbishment of some wonderful historical um industrial buildings um and in fact you know it's spread across canal it's now uh, um expanded over to the marina and new islington and eventually across to hope mill theater which we know very well and also pollard yard which is a, a wonderful collection of independent businesses just on the other side of hope mill theater so uh, and it's still building and growing and expanding and the Canal Street card, and of course the Ancos card. Where do people get these? Canal Street has always been available via uh, the Canal Street website, um, canal-st.co.uk, um, and the Ancos card, similarly, is available through uh, ancosplus.com. Um, and at the moment, the scale of them is very different, but we've managed to launch with, in Ancos' case, about 20 or so businesses, um, what you'll see uh, uh, are the list of the live ones, and we have something like eight unique 
discount codes that once you've bought a card, you actually will get access to those um, uh, codes. But we also have a, a small number of hospitality venues who've committed to being involved, but because of the lockdown have deferred uh, um, the actual offer uh, until we are in a position to reopen again and for cardholders to enjoy. And once again, perhaps tell us what are the benefits of having um, these cards for people? Well, basically, they, they offer um, unique uh, added value or discounts or advantages to people who, who have a card. And, um, you know, it's £16 for a whole year. Um, but most people, in our experience, uh, particularly with hospitality, but actually if you buy a piece of art or a piece of expensive furniture, you know, we've got on offer, mm -hmm. um, you can get more than your money back in one go. Uh, but even if it takes two or three usages, um, you, you'll very quickly make that money back. And then, you know, as we progress, there's all sorts of additional benefits that we're, we're looking at working with people for. There you are, everybody. Mr. Ian Scott talking to us about the new card that is available and, of course, the existing card, which is the Canal Street card. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we are going to be joining you just a second by our fabulous next guest. Well, as we know, the theatres are beginning to struggle, everybody. It's all going slightly pear-shaped. Hope they of course, they tried doing rent. Uh, that's now all come to a rapid end all of a sudden. But many other people are still doing the fabulous stuff within the theatres and, indeed, entertainment. Joining us now is my next guest, and he's literally just got in contact with me literally just a few minutes ago, everybody. And I said, well, I'm just in the middle of the show. I'll fully get you on there now. His name's Paul Wilkins. He has, uh, I suppose, well, most of them will know remember him from um hair everybody huh. wearing very little other than huh. everybody hello paul wilkins how are you hello i'm very good how are you i'm very excited to fully see you nobody else can see you i can see you this is wonderful just to give you an idea he's looking like a james dean sort of want to be everybody he's looking very good he's got his hair all quaffled in perfect position <laughs> a bit yeah. like have. only mine are all on shelves at the moment now you're doing something really wonderful, uh, fingers crossed, if we get out of this, uh, just before we get into Christmas. Tell us a bit about it. Um, so what I'm doing is a, is a production called Bar Humbug. Um, and this was a, a Christmas concert that I toured last year with um, Earl Carpenter, who, who quite a lot of people would know for playing Javert and Les Mis in Phantom of the Opera. Um, and it was also with James Hume. But this year, we're having to slightly rejig it uh, because obviously we can't can't really be in theatres. Um, it's it's hard to make any theatre work. So what we are doing is we're putting on Bar Humbug, which is a trio performance of show tunes. Uh, it's full of musical anecdotes and hilarious stories and terrible audition situations. And this time round, rather than it being in a theatre, it's actually taking place uh, at a venue called Bateau London, which is a restaurant on the Thames, and it's a, it's a boat. So um, the three acts will take place between the courses, um, and audiences can enjoy a three-hour cruise at the same time. Now, you are planning on doing this when we get out of lockdown. Now, what are the dates that you're currently working towards? So we're working towards the 4th to the 6th of December. Okay. Uh, do you think that's going to happen? Are you excited about that happening? Am I excited about it happening? Um, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm kind of ready for, for both worlds. Uh, like I'm, 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 I'm ever optimistic, but at the same time, uh, I'm not chucking all of my money at it. You know what I mean? Like It would be silly of me to to pile loads and loads of money into this because you know the the who knows where the odds are what do you think what do you think in terms of deciding well, to do it i think that you're right to do it definitely i think you're just on the edge of us coming out of that there though aren't you really exactly exactly yeah. so what's going to be it was um originally the 30th till the 6th of december and mm -hmm. i thought well what shall i do okay i'll condense it into the weekend and we'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, 
when we're halfway through this next lockdown, hopefully there'll be a bit more of a sign of how it's going and I'll be able to kind of make a, make a decision as to, as to how it's going to go. But I'm ploughing on and I think it's, it's something for our communities to look forward to. It's something for audience members to look forward to um, and for the three of us. So uh, it's, it's me, uh, Toby Mons and Craig Mather and the three of us have all played Marius in Les Miserables. So we're back, we're, we're together as a trio and singing yeah. some fantastic songs. You're back, but you're not expecting empty chairs at empty tables, are you? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Mm. Very good. Very Thank good. You. I've been working on that for the past five minutes. I just want you to know Have that. You? you know, yeah, not yeah. Really. It just comes to me. I just speak rubbish all the time. It's what basically <laughs> I'm paid to do these days. Uh, so how has lockdown been for you then? Uh, the first one, obviously. And how have you like, coped with like work and the theatres not being an operation? Um... Do you know, it, it's just felt like a really extended period between between shows or between auditions. So, <coughs> excuse me, I think we're, us actor folk, we're probably a little bit more prepared for something like this. But what I've been having to do is, um, I was working night shifts at Morrison's, so that was, that was a fair bit of my time. Um, and that was, was horrible, I couldn't sleep. So um, I'm sure you've heard from a lot of actors that we're having to do lots of different jobs. Like um, Philip Schofield was on, um, is it this morning on ITV? Yeah. He was speaking with Anna Jane Casey about her having to be, um, uh, to be doing deliveries. So it's, it's quite reassuring to know that there are a lot of us that are having to, to do those types of jobs. So that's reassuring. Um, but more importantly, I've been focusing on launching Opportune Theatre, which is my new theatre company. Um, the aim is to be able to put on productions in a 315 meter squared stretch tent um, that fit 108 guests, all socially distanced in their in their own families, in their household or support bubbles. Um, and the idea is to have it as like a touring theatre. It's fully kitted out. It's got stage, sound system, all of that. So uh, in the next in the next few weeks, hopefully, um, the crowdfunding page will be sorted, uh, and uh, yeah, we're we'll getting some some good some good attention to that. It's exciting. I think it's going to be a totally different change for the world of theatre for entertainers for actors. Um, if you could think of one song that sums up this year, what would you say it is? Oh, uh, not to put you on the spot or anything, Paul. Obviously. Well, you've chosen probably a person who, who has the, the the least knowledge of pop songs. I don't really... Well, think of a musical song, song then. Um, <laughs> Hard Knock Life. That's the first thing that came to me. Hard Knock Life or One Day More is what I was thinking. Like, uh, how many more days more? Jesus. Isn't it? It's going on and it's going on. Uh, Bar Humbug, of course. Where's it at? And where can people get tickets? And when's it on? So it's on the 4th to the 6th of December. We've got two afternoon performances and three evening performances. Uh, so you can come from Manchester. Um, and it's on at Bateau, London, which is a River Thames boat. Um, you can book your tickets at opportunetheatre.co.uk. It's exciting. It's the best look of it, by the way. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. A nice Christmas uh, bit of entertainment. I look forward to that. There we are. That's our Paul Wilkins, everybody. Speaking Thanks to very us. Much. Thank you very much, Paul. Speaking to us about a wonderful show that he's hopefully going to be bringing us very, very soon. Uh, all details, of course, will be on our website. In the meantime, my lovelies, you've been absolutely fantastic. We've got a lovely psychic on the show on Friday because we all need to know what's happening for 2021, don't we? What is going to go on? What's it, happening? It's scary. It's wonderful and it's bizarre. Till then, my darlings, take care of yourselves and each other.